38 bricks, one stove pipe, and some timber sticks for fuel. Making the stove with the bricks. form a single channel for the first layer and similar for the second layer two channels now and then we close it off to make a double flue two flues, one is the fuel flue and the other the burning flue. That now forms the basis uh, ready for the flue pipe. That completes the rocket stove. This could be buried in the ground, filled in to seal it completely. But at the minute, this is shown on the surface to demonstrate the principle. The fuel box has had a few spills put in, and we're just trying to light it now. Once the heat gets going, that should work its way across to the chimney and start working. You can now start to hear the roar of the rocket as it's now taken the heat to the chimney side and the fuel side is now clear of all smoke.
and it is now within a minute or two working as it should be. No smoke coming out of the chimney at all, just the heat, heat haze. Place the metal gauze over the chimney, which we'll now try and boil some water on. Can of cold water now on the stove top. About five minutes and the water is boiling, steam coming off. And just start to bubble. Don't know if you can see that. There's the steam now, I think you can just see that coming off. So that's a good can full of water, stone cold, to boil in a few minutes. And then there we pan down the chimney. And there's very little fire left though, the water is boiling. Let's just use them few sticks and that's a lovely warm cup of 